سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Everything in the sky declares Allah's perfection. In parentheses, what is wrong with you? What happened to your tasbih? وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزِ He's the ultimate authority. How come my authority is not enough that you don't respect it? Al-Hakim It's full of wisdom. Why don't you trust that the things I'm telling you to do are good for you? Why don't you have any confidence in my wisdom? He says, لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ The kingdom of the skies and the earth belongs to him. Why are you afraid of your enemy? Why are you afraid they have something, they have a weapon in their hand, they have money in their hand, they have power in their hand, that will somehow harm you? There is nothing in the skies and the earth that is outside of my kingdom. All of the battle between truth and falsehood is happening inside Allah's kingdom, and inside my kingdom. What do you have to fear someone else for? Why are you afraid of anyone else? لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Are you afraid of dying? He says, يُحْيِي وَيُمِيت He gives life, he gives death. Why are you worried about life and death? He will give and he will take because it's not yours to keep. I don't, you, we call it my life. I want to live my life. Who, who says it's yours? Where did you get mine from? People say, my hand hurts. Is your hand? Well, how much you pay for it? Where did you get it from? Amazon? Where'd you get your hand from? My life, my hand, my car, my house. <laughs> What's mine? He gives life. He gives death. He's given you this opportunity and he will take this opportunity. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ And oh no, no. He, he wouldn't do that. No, he can do anything. He's in control of all things. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ هُوَ الْأَوَّلُ وَالْآخِرِ He's the first and the last. And this has many interpretations, but at, at the personal level, the first priority, the first thought in your day should be what? Allah. The last thing you leave this world with, the last thing you do before you go to sleep, you think about your master. What did I do for you, my master, today? Me, this insignificant creature, what did I do today for you? I'm going to this bed, and I'm going to sleep, and I don't know if I'll wake up again. And I don't know if I have to stand in front of you after I... Before I wake up, I might have to stand in front of you. My first and my last thought. وَالظَّاهِرْ وَالْبَاطِنِ And He is so obvious. He is so obvious. Allah is in the unseen. How does He call him, Himself? Allah, the ultimately obvious. The one who believes, they see, they see Allah in everything. They see Allah in the sunshine, Allah's work. They see Allah in His work. They see Allah in His creation. They see Allah in His planning. He's ظَاهِرْ He's da- always. Sometimes really annoying things happen to you. Really annoying things. Like you get stuck in traffic on your way to Arabic class. 45 minutes late. You're upset. You're like, is that, a, is that part of Allah's plan? Yes. Because you need to learn sabr more than you need to learn Arabic some days. <laughs> so He's going to teach it to you. And if that means He has to make you lose your keys, He'll make you lose your keys. It's part of His plan. Because He's helping you control your temper. He's helping you learn to rely, learn to rely on Him. Sometimes they make you pass a test, sometimes they make you fail a test. So you learn to understand where success and failure comes from. Well, what? And he's ultimately hidden. You, you think everything is happening around you, you don't see Allah. He's the ultimately hidden. Hidden. He's the universe's best kept secret. Allah Azza wa Jal. And at the same time, his work is the most obvious, makes him the most obvious. And he knows all things. There's nothing. Just because you don't see Allah doesn't mean he doesn't know what's going on. وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٍ هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَّامٍ ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَرْشِ He created the skies and the earth in six days. A display of His power. Then He rose upon Al-Arsh, the throne. The Arsh is described in Arabic literature for the throne of a king. When Allah describes that He's on a throne, that makes Him the king, that makes us His subjects. It's supposed to, the more you describe the greatness of Allah, the more it describes, it should insert in me humility. It should instill humility inside me. Al-Arsh. يَعْلَمُ مَا يَلِجُ فِي الْأَرْضِ And his, his Arsh is where? Up. So high. Above seven heavens. Above seven heavens. And in the very next ayah, he says, he knows what goes into the earth. Very next kalam. That's the lowest you can be, Al-Ard. This is why this world is called Al-Hayatul Dunya, the lowest life. He from his highest throne knows what is going into the lowest place, the earth. 
وَمَا يَخْرُجُ مِنْهَا And what comes out of it. وَمَا يَنزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ And what comes down from the sky he knows. وَمَا يَعْرُجُ فِيهَا And what rises up to the sky he knows. وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ He is with you. هُوَ مَعَكُمْ He is with you. أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ Wherever you may find yourselves. Wherever you may be. You are not alone. He is with you. هُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ His ma'iyah, his company is there. He's watching. He's protecting, he's observing, he's testing, constantly. I'm never alone. I'm not alone in a hotel room. I'm not alone on campus. I'm not alone in the car. I'm not alone. We're never alone. You know? The, these you know, people that want to look for alien life in the universe, are we alone in the universe? We have the answer. We're not alone. We're never alone. We were never alone. And actually, we ourselves are aliens. We were sent on this earth. We're not from this earth. So if you're looking for alien life, look at each other. Every one of you, part of you is alien. It came from the sky. An angel delivered the ruh into your mother's belly. <laughs> right? We're not from this world. Well, part of us is. Part of us grew from, from the earth. And, part, and even that, started with our father, Adam alayhi salam, who was himself sent down from Jannah. He was himself sent down from Jannah. He knows what goes into the earth. He knows what will come out of the earth. He knows what comes from the sky and what goes up into the sky. He's with you. هُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ Wallahi, if we just understood this one ayah, one ayah, one, it's not even a whole ayah, it's a part of an ayah. هُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ He is with you wherever you are. The way I speak would change. The websites I browse would change, the phone numbers I dial would change, and everything would change. Everything about me would change. Do people act differently when their boss is in the room? Do people act differently when they see a police car on the highway on the side? They do, don't they? Do people act differently when they know there's a camera on the tree street light or the stop sign? They do, don't they? Automatic taqwa? Automat ihsan. You recognize the presence of a higher power and it changes your behavior. If we internalized huwa ma'akum aina ma kuntum, there would necessarily be a change in my behavior. There would be. And if it's not happening, maybe I don't really understand what this means yet. Maybe it's all up in my head, it hasn't entered my heart what it means. He's with you wherever you are. Huwa ma'akum aina ma kuntum. 